Oh, hello, Science Maximites. We've got a lot of work today, so I was just getting prepared. You know, taking something flimsy and making it strong, that's what scientists and engineers do every day. And it's also pretty fun. You take something that's not that strong, and by the way you build it or put it together or change its shape, it suddenly becomes a lot stronger than you think it was. So I thought that's what we should do today on Science Max Experiments at Large. We should build something. So we're going to build an arched bridge, and we're going to build it out of Sugar cubes! <laughs> so here's what you need. You need some sugar cubes, you need some sandpaper, and you need some modeling clay. So first, you want to make some abutments out of your modeling clay. What is an abutment, you ask? It is this! They distribute the force laterally from one side or the other. I like to use this. This is half a roll of duct tape, and so it fits in just like that, and you see, it's a perfect arch. If you just take sugar cubes and you try to stack them into an arch, it's not going to work because the sugar cubes may not even fit all together, and you can see only the bottoms are touching. I take up the guide and it all falls apart. So here's what you do. You take your sandpaper and you change the squares into trapezoids, and you start sanding down your sugar cubes into trapezoids. Basically, you want one small side and one long side. Thin at the top, wide at the bottom. Or wide at the top, thin at the bottom. It's a trapezoid no matter which way you hold it. Put it on the bridge and see. And as you go, you will see if you're doing it right, there will be no gaps. And then the most important part is the keystone. That's the one that fits in right at the top, just like that. And when it does, you can take away the guide, and it stays up. Isn't that cool? It stays up without any glue, without any mortar, all based on the shape of these sugar cubes. The cool thing is, it'll hold the weight of a whole car, provided you have a very, very small car. The reason why it works is because the weight is distributed along the arch into the abutments and down into the ground. That's what makes an arched bridge so strong. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna max out an arched bridge. So I think I'm gonna need some help though. Uh, maybe Sonia from the Ontario Science Center. She really knows her stuff. Um, yeah, I'll go there and I'll see if she's busy. All right, come on, let's go. The reason why an arch works is because the weight or the load of whatever's on top of the bridge is carried outward along the curve of the arch to the abutments at each end, which carry the load and keep the ends of the bridge from spreading out. No matter what you build your bridge out of, sugar or stone, the science stays the same. Sonia. Hey, Bill, how's it going? It's going good. I was wondering if you could give me a hand with something. Okay, what's I'm, up? I'm building, um, well, it's actually, it's easier if I show you. All right. Do you mind coming back to Science Max headquarters? We can take the portal. But that thing doesn't always work. Oh, it is fine. Well, I mean, that worked just fine. Uh-oh, it usually makes a beeping when I do, oh. It's out of batteries. Oh, I told myself, Phil, charge the, charge the remote before you leave the lab, and then I... Where have you been? The, 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 the remote ran out of battery, so I had to run the last three kilometers. It's all right. You I made it. Long story. So the sugar cube bridge. You had a chance to look at it, right? Uh -huh. This works on any scale, mm -hmm. right? It should, any no matter scale. what size arch, it should be the same, right? Definitely. Good, because what I want to do is use these abutments, but go to these abutments. Oh. So I'm going to start the bridge here, and I've already created a thing that to we can use to put the, support? the sugar cubes on as we go up so that we can make sure that it becomes now, a perfect arch. Yeah. Do we have enough sugar for this? Yep. I got tons of sugar. Wow. Yeah. So I think we're going to need some glue because it's going to be really hard to get these to stay. Yep. To stay, stay right on. 
there without a little bit of glue. We're gonna make a giant arch, maybe some walls, and, and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. The Wizard Academy. All you have to do is demonstrate true magic, and you will be granted entry. Send in the next applicant. <laughs> okay, don't let them see you. Don't let them see you. Okay, magic smoke, and here we go, big entrance. Behold it is I, Overwhelm. You again. I only have to demonstrate magic one time, and you have to let me into the Wizard Academy. And last, last time does not count. So prepare for your mind to be boggled and your eyes to also be boggled because I shall do a trick. I will just get to it. Here is a book, behold! And now, feast your stupefaction as I produce another book, ha ha! And then, two or three more times, behold, as I put, as I, that's good, behold! And now, look upon the wonderment as I stack these books on top of each other, like this, and now, feast more stupefaction as I, I cleverly move the books off the table. And now, now comes the magic part. Now, I say the magic word. The magic word! And behold, the book is levitating. It is completely off the table. I have done it. Magic! No. No? Not magic, that's science. But the book is levitating. No. Look at it, it's not even touching the table. No, it's being supported by the books below because of the center of mass. Preposterous. I'm afraid it's very posterous. Each book is balanced on the one below in a way that the center of mass is behind the edge of the book below. And the entire stack's center of mass is behind the edge of the table. So it may look like magic, but it's science. So... I can't get into the Wizard Academy? No, I'm afraid not. I, uh, good... Alakazam! You will rule the day that Overwhelmo did not I will return, and then you will see. Oh, ow. Sony and I are building a much larger bridge out of sugar cubes. We're using glue to help the sugar cubes stay together, just like stone bridges use mortar. And when we're finished, it was pretty impressive. A massive sugar cube bridge. Yep. Right? High fives for that. The moment of truth comes when we take out the support mm. and... Yeah! yeah. It awesome. works! Awesome. Okay. Giant nice. okay. Sugar cube bridge, so do you think it'll hold some weight? I think it definitely should, because right now we have an arch, mm -hmm. perfect arch, and the weight is being distributed to the sides of the base, so. So that's what it's for, right? It's, we can put weight on there? We can definitely put some weight. One to start? Let's start off with one. Okay. And let's see how it goes. All right. Here we go. All right. Yeah, one book, yeah. All right, sugar cube bridge. One book. Two books. Are you nervous? Yeah! <laughs> sugar, books. sugar cube bridge, three books. Three books. No! Oh, 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 oh. That was great. It, it held up three books. Three. Well, technically, it held up two books and broke on the third. Oh, hey, how you doing? Let me guess. You want to build a strong structure, something that'll stand the test of time. Well, you know you gotta use the right kind of shapes. Look at this, a square. Now squares have gotta be strong, right? Well, maybe. Maybe if you press straight down on it, but watch as I push to the side. Oh no, the thing that I have built is now collapsing because squares aren't in fact strong after all. If only I had listened to Sal's sage advice. Yeah. Squares aren't gonna cut it. Fortunately, there's a shape that's strong in all kinds of ways. A triangle. Okay, so you heard of triangles before, good for you. But look at this. You can push down from the top and it doesn't move, or you can push from the side and it doesn't move. Triangles are awfully pointy. How do I build with them? Observe, ha <laughs> ha. Triangle here, triangle there, platform on top. And watch. <clears throat> No matter how I try to shift it, it stays solid. And check this out. Triangle here, second triangle there, and a third triangle shape here. 
That's like three triangles for the price of two, huh? That's a good deal. So there you have it, the triangle. One of the greatest shapes to build with. This is a house of cards. And if you've never built a house of cards, you should definitely try. Try because it's not easy. What you need to do is you need to make triangles with the cards. If you do it just right, ha ha, they'll stay up. Then you take another pair of cards like that. You take another card and you put it on top Ah, and it stays up. Keep on building by making triangles and putting another card across the top like a roof. Then, when you're ready, you can start to make a second layer. It takes a lot of patience to make a house of cards. But with enough patience and really steady hands, you might be able to finish it. There we go. Ha ha, a house of cards. Now, let's max it out. Backing away slowly, backing away slowly. 